Yes, guys, how's it going? Hope everyone's had a good week. Everyone's doing well. Having a good evening and that. Uh, yeah, quick one. Tony Ferguson, Al Kikui, the Boogeyman versus uh, Paddy the Pim. Paddy, Paddy the Pimlet. Paddy the Baddy. Paddy Pimlet. Uh, I think it's UFC 295 or 296. Can't remember now. Yeah, man. Uh, it's going to be a crazy fight. Looking forward to it. It's a bit of a weird one, though. I didn't expect this fight to... Be the one that was going to be made for Tony's last fight of his career or whatever, or for Paddy's next fight. But I can see why they're making it. From what I've gathered from it, it seems like uh, Dana White, the president of UFC, obviously, wants to take the fame and everything from Tony and give it to Paddy. You know what I'm saying? Like they want to build Paddy up. This is why that this is the only thing Paddy gets from this is fame and a bit more recognition and all that. But at the end of the day, Paddy's fighting a Tony that's. Um, He's probably not a prime Tony now, yeah, you know. So Tony's looked good in his last six fights, so against like Michael Chandler. Uh, he wobbled Michael Chandler, he wobbled Justin Gagey with the uppercut before he got absolutely fucked up. Um he's done well against loads of fights, you know, apart from Nate Diaz fight that weren't as good, but all the other fights he's done good, he looked good, he was winning the fights before, you know, he got he got he got uh, knocked out or whatever. So yeah, man, I don't know, it's 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 a it's a weird fight, it's a tricky one, but um I don't know, I've got Tony winning this one. If Paddy's fought, fights anything like he's fought in the past, where he just runs in with his guard down, acting all crazy, taking his punches. Paddy's got quite a good chin, but he's not fought the top uh, competition yet. I think the UFC know he's not going to be a top five or top ten fighter. It's just why they're cherry picking him and just trying to get as much money as they can out of him, building them up. Um, at the end of the day, the, the scouts as Liverpool boys, they always support their fighters. Um, any, any Liverpool fighter is fucking big for me. Look at Darren Till and all that. You know, win or lose, whatever. So, um, yeah, man, I don't know. Paddy's won his last six fights. Um, but they were against unranked fighters, not as credible as what who's Tony's beaten his career. Tony's definitely had a better career. You know, he's been in them in champ. I feel for Tony, though. I feel like he's always been um, uh, let down by the UFC. They've always kind of fed him to the dogs, never gave him what he deserved. Um, they took the title from him when he got injured. But if, they, if you know, many champions now get injured and they get to keep the title for the year. Um I think he's been given matchups he shouldn't have took him. But at the end of the day, Tony's his own man. He's decided to take these fights. And this is where it's you know, this is where his career's led him now. He should never took the Justin Gagey fight at the current time and all that. But it is what it is, guys. Um But yeah, I'm gonna keep this sort of short and sweet, guys. You know what I mean? I think Tony's gonna win it. I'm gonna go with Tony. I think Tony's gonna knock him out. Tony's still got the power. We've seen that he's wobbled uh, a lot harder guys with better chins and, and better fighters. So I think Tony's gonna wobble. Well, I think Tony's gonna knock Paddy out. I think the only way Paddy lo the way sorry the only way Tony loses is if Paddy gets him to the ground. Maybe that's Paddy's strongest point is his ground game. Tony's is quite mixed, but his ground game's not seemed as good recently. He's been trying to strike. It's, you know, he's a bit hesitant and slow at times. But you know, once he gets going and he lands his punches, he's still got the power, and he can still um, definitely knock out Paddy. I reckon. So um, yeah, good luck to both of them. It's a good UFC card. Uh, you know. Who knows what happens after this? Tony's probably going to retire after this, I can imagine. I can't see who else he's going to fight after. But you know, Tony's probably a mistake. He's got a big art. Um, he loves fighting and he he wants to prove himself and he still believes he's one of the top boys. So, you know, and Paddy, I don't know what Paddy's goals are either. Um, whether he wants to be a world champion, whatever it is he's trying to do. So, fair play for both of them taking this fight. I'm looking forward to watching it. America versus uh, Britain. Um, let's fucking go, man. It's going to be a cool fight. And uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, who do you think is going to win? How do you think it's going to turn out? What do you think Tony should do? What do you think Paddy should do after this? whoever wins this fight? And yeah, man, have a good rest of your week, guys. Well, good weekend now. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Cheers, guys.